Good morning, everybody. It's J Mac, and welcome to Bigfoot Input. Um, it's uh, kind of a rainy Saturday morning here, and um, I'm gonna I want to talk about something. I, I've been wanting to talk about this for a while, but uh, I've been avoiding it for some reason. And today's the day. So you just sit back with me. Uh, it's a little bit of a slow burn, more of a conversational type of thing. Uh, maybe not quite the videos that you're used to, but I think that anybody in the Bigfoot community is going to find this interesting. Okay. You may or may not have heard of this already. So, um, just a quick reminder, you know, uh, we do have memberships on the channel available. It's one ninety nine a month. Please join us. And we have a merch store now. So, uh, go check that out if you'd like. And also we have a secondary channel that deals more with uh, dark crime and dark paranormal. So uh, it's called Cryptic Input, and I'll put the links in the bio. And here we go. So this guy's name is Igor Burtsev. He lives in Moscow. He's single, ladies, if you're interested. And... Uh, he claims to have what I would call a, a relationship with this creature here, which, uh, let, let me get my names right here. I believe, I believe he calls this creature Grisha, Grishna, Grisha. Yeah, Grisha. So... At first glance, it's like, all right, I mean, I guess it could be something, but I mean, a few things stick out to me as far as like the bleached hair, that's different. Uh, I don't know if I would go as far as to say impossible, but definitely unique. The neck doesn't quite look right to me. It looks weird, but anyway... I assure you that when you see the rest of the pictures, none of these critiques are going to matter. Okay. So here's another uh, view of the creature. It looks like, looks like it's been touched up uh, digitally, maybe like on purpose. Like it's supposed to look like kind of like art. Uh, it could be art, but I, I think it's like a mix, almost like an AI interpretation of a photo. But I, so I'm not sure exactly what it is, but I don't think it's an actual, actual photo. Uh, and again, this is, this is a poor picture. This is like a picture of a screen taken of the creature. You know, like I said, interesting facial features. You can see it. Um, the hair still throws me off. It's got sort of these blonde, like almost dreads. It's like dreadlocks, honestly. This is an uh this is the same creature. Um taking it at night, different, you know, different shot. And then there's this one. I, I can't remember what he called this one, like Dartan or something like that. Um this is It's embarrassing. I mean that it looks like a guy I, I'm not even gonna say that it's a guy in a suit. It's a guy in like, almost like military fatigues. And it looks like he's got a backpack on. And like some goggles or something. Something that makes his eyes glow. That could have been, I don't like using the word Photoshop, but it could have been digitally uh, enhanced later on. You know, it could have been added. But I don't know what that's like supposed to be but so here's Grisha again we can see that I did, he I believe yeah he is uh, standing next to a car which is interesting I don't think I've ever seen a Bigfoot in the same shot as a vehicle well that's not quite true but it's rare to see a Bigfoot in, in the same shot as a vehicle but uh, but okay, I can, I can, I can, I'm still, I'm still here. I'm still listening, right? And then we get to the next shot. This is where 
starts to get weird. I'm like, oh, okay. Oh, so let's just say that. All right. So this guy apparently lives like, you know, way, although it says he lives in Moscow, I don't know a lot about Moscow. You know, I can only picture the, the buildings with the architecture when I think of Moscow, Russia. So maybe there's like vast expanses of rural area for all I know, but this guy appears to live in one. I mean, you look behind the car, it just seems like acres and acres of rolling hills, you know, but, um, so, okay. So he's got a relationship with a Bigfoot or Yeti or whatever they call him in Russia, probably Yeti, but he calls them forest people. So, so he's got a relationship with it. I, I can buy that. I think that there are people that do have closer relationships with Bigfoot. Like, you know, there's people that have like friends that are bears and all sorts of stuff. I mean, yeah, it, it happens, you know, so I don't think that's outside the realm of possibility. So he's got this car there and maybe Bigfoot, you know, Bigfoot's curious. I mean, you know, they're very curious creatures. Uh, so, uh, he's checking the car out. Okay. So now my imagination is stretching, but I'm still on board. <laughs> I'm, st I'm still there. <laughs> okay. And then we get on. To the next photo, he appears to be trying to get in the car. Um, judging by, he's kind of hunched over, so it's hard to tell exactly, but the top of that car, it's not a very big car, but I would say the top of that car is going to be five foot. This creature stands straight up. We're looking at seven and a half to eight feet tall. Okay, gotta be. At least seven feet. All right, so anyway, he's trying to get in the car. I don't know, there's no video associated with this that I know of, so um, that's unfortunate, but. So here's this picture. He got in the car. He made it inside. This huge eight foot creature, probably 450, 500 pounds, maybe more, has managed to squeeze himself behind the wheel of this car. And it says, Grisha inside the car, he learned to drive. So, not only has he gotten inside the car, he has started it up, he has managed to use his big foot to press the pedal, and now he's driving. Once he drove the car into the water of the lake, so Alex pulled it out with a tractor, I don't know who Alex is. After disassembled the car to dry in parts and combined again, I would like to mention that FPS, I'm guessing forest people, love to get car or tractor just like a toy. Okay. Um, can you guys see his hands and that right there on the wheel? Um, extremely fuzzy almost like like a teddy bear would you know okay so here is said tractor and Grisha is behind the wheel so not only can he drive a car he can drive a tractor The last picture I want to share with you is a lot of words, but I feel that it's kind of important, okay? So this Janice Carter person seems to be Eeyore's, like, good friend or partner in crime or something, accomplice, if you will. Uh, but he does say that he's single, so I don't feel that they're like a couple, but maybe they were at the time and they aren't anymore. I don't know. But what we're seeing here is she says... The tractor suits Grisha better. 
as he has more room to sit and drive it. So now, now we're not only talking about one person who is claiming that this Bigfoot drives. Now we have a second person involved. And he says, Janice Carter, yes, he is like a big truck to sit inside. He, I'm sorry. Yes, he likes big truck to sit inside. His English is a little broken and it's not helping mine, I'll be honest with you. But anyway. All right. So, so she replies, we need to get him a big rig tractor trailer truck to teach him to drive it. We could call him the Kensworth big rig Bigfoot road trucker. And teach him to haul the military cabin truck out on a flatbed to move remote areas for your expeditions there to visit them. Closer to their home base and out of harm's way from other type hominids. From the other type hominids. She uh, replies to herself. So I'm about half serious about this. I'm sure Grisha could learn to drive it and he would be capable of hauling the cabin truck out there for you. It wouldn't need to be a new fancy model transfer truck, just an old model that runs decent. A sleeper cab would be nice as it would give Grisha more room to get in and out, to get in and if he need to do so, take the driver's seat out and use a stump or something else to say, you know, I apparently didn't continue seek to see more. Cause at that point, I think my head started to hurt. Uh, so that's, that's about all the pictures, um, that I can dig up of this situation. Now this guy, you know, he doesn't necessarily claim to be a scientist, but he is, he does claim to be sort of an expert in the subject and he's out in the field and he's, he's this, he's that. And his, his, um, his stance is always against, against the skeptics, which there are many, many, and they're very, you know, vocal about their skepticism. But, um, his stance is always, well, I don't have to prove anything to anyone. I know what I know and you don't know it cause you're not here and that's it, you know? So guys, there we have it. What do you think? What do you think of this whole situation? Like I'm trying to, I didn't think about it a lot ahead of time. I just, I just gathered the pictures and threw them up here and I, you know, I want to talk about it, but now that it's time to talk about it, I'm, I'm really kind of scanning my own feelings and thoughts, trying to see how I feel about it. My initial reaction is this guy's a wackadoo. Him and his, his friend there. Both. Um, they are ridiculously trying to pull some huge con on the world. That's my initial reaction. The, the Grisha character does not look like a real Bigfoot to me. Or you know whatever. I just, I, I'm sorry. I just, I don't buy the, the bleached hair, the bra and Now I'm not saying that Bigfoot isn't capable of braiding hair. And as a matter of fact, I think you'll all know that I do think that's highly possible, and most and probable. But why is the the dreadlocked hair a different color than the other hair on the head? That makes no sense to me. Um, the fuzzy hands throw me off a bit. Um, I don't think. I mean, you know, hey, I've never, <laughs> I haven't really seen a Bigfoot's hands, but they just look, they just look really fuzzy to me. Like I said, almost like a teddy bear. Um, in the shot where he's in the car, there seems to be something almost like on if he had a lapel it would be there like almost like a microphone or maybe a, i don't know some sort of camera something was weird there for me and then of course as i said the one where he seemed to be like like sitting down um the the neck from the from the back really looked like it was 
a suit that you would put a mask on top of or, you know, tuck it underneath or something to that effect. It just doesn't look right. Like there's not, it's not fluid. And even though like you can almost kind of see like a bicep muscle, even that looks fake. So, and then as I say, the other creature, whatever that thing was supposed to be in the, in the field, that was absolutely ridiculous. And the fact that the, both of the creatures were taken um, in the same field, seemingly the same evening, the same, it looked like a photo shoot, you know, like they're just taking a couple pictures of these guys and the, the other one just looks absolutely ridiculous. I don't even know who they're trying to fool with that one. And, um, I'm not going to say that I think that you couldn't train an intelligent Bigfoot creature to drive a vehicle good enough to drive it into a lake obviously um i'm not going to say that at all i think it's weird i think it's it's a weird story i think he could have gotten a lot further in life by not incorporating those stories of this creature driving a car and then driving a tractor it seems like a fairy tale to me it seems like both of them are delusional if i'm honest um, that's, that's really all I have to say about it. I think I, 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 I don't want to ramble. Um, but, um, I'm going to, I'm going to call BS on this one. Yeah. I, I, uh, I'm not even on the fence about it. Like it, it's just, it's complete and utter BS. And, um, and I just don't know where this guy gets off calling himself any sort of expert or field researcher or anything if i mean this is like <sighs> this was posted on march 2nd of this year so um it wasn't that long ago so i feel like i don't know i, f I just feel like this guy has completely shot himself in the foot as far as any sort of credibility goes you know but anyway hey guys that's just my opinion okay that's that's really all it is but um anyway there you go and you know as always i'd love to hear what you guys have to say about it in the comments uh you know hit, hit me up tell me what what do you think do you think this is real do you think it's possible i you think it's bs i, I like i want to know so let us know uh, but yeah, so uh, please, like I said, uh, if you haven't subscribed already, that would be great. We really appreciate that. And, uh, you know, check out our memberships. Our membership is super cheap and it really helps out the channel. Uh, it's really just a donation, if, if I'm honest with you. And uh, we, we appreciate it. It helps us do what we do. All right, guys, that's it for me. J Mac, I'm out and keep squatching.